So air pumps are used to do a couple things in aquaponics. Obviously, one of the most important reasons that they're used is to aerate fish tanks. They're also used to aerate your plant beds sometimes. You can also use something called an air lift pump to use air to actually pump water up. Just another way that air pumps are used. But kind of like water pumps, you have to consider distance when you use air pumps, but it goes by the depth that you need the air stones to go down and the volume of water that you need them to oxygenate. When you purchase air pumps, they are rated by something called CFM or cubic feet per minute. This is how much aeration that pump can produce at a given pressure level or the depth. So when I'm using a single air pump with one air stone to aerate a single container, like a 50 gallon drum, even up to a 200 gallon tank, this will work. The minimum CFM that I'm looking for is two. That's the absolute lowest I would ever consider using in like a single tank in an aquaponic system. Two CFMs is probably a little serious for like your desktop aquarium. You wanna go like one CFM would be fine but two is actually pretty significant. My idea here is to explain just how much one and two CFMs will actually do. Once you hit about three to four CFMs, you can take the air produced in that pump and kind of split it into a couple tanks in your aquaponic system. And a pump with four CFMs is gonna run you anywhere from 250 to $400. So my point in this is that you're considering even a remotely large and long aquaponic system. You wanna invest straight in something called a regenerative blower. They're on the commercial end of aquaponics equipment, but for the investment, you're getting so much more. So a $500 regenerative blower oftentimes can get CFMs of 10 and over. But if you pay the same price for a linear piston, that's the one that just sits on your counter, a linear piston air pump, you're not gonna get as much CFMs for almost the same amount of money. So for the money, the regenerative blower is the best type of aeration that you can buy. When you're purchasing air stones, you also want to spring for the air diffusers. They're the more expensive, more compact, more small bubble, usually longer, more durable types of air stones. Those air stones that you buy with like the little plastic ramp on them, don't buy those. Those are very fragile. They break easily. I would avoid. You also want to pressure wash your air stones every one to two years. With your air pump, you're also going to need PVC and tubing. PVC normally is used just as like a manifold, so you could run the PVC the length of your equipment. And then you could tap into that with tubing throughout your system to feed whatever you need to aeration. 